Namaste, Dr. Aparna Ji, Dr. Singh Ji, distinguished attendees. My name is Dilip Das. Uh, the title of this presentation is Understanding Dharma. I am a graduate of Jadavpur University. I studied it in University of Washington and MIT. I was raised in a Vaishnava family with religious tolerance. I am an ordained minister of the Unitarian Church in the USA. I am a Hindu priest perform performing puja rituals and solemnizing marriage. This presentation shows how Vedic concept can be used to improve worldly process in the increasingly chaotic and challenging world. Specifically, this includes an understanding of the definition of dharma. Comparison between Hinduism and religious and religion. Hinduism is greater than religion. Religion is a Western term. Religion is a bond of piety between man and divinity. Religion is exclusive and has three characteristics. It fosters the concept of one prophet or founder. It has one holy book which tends to seek immunity from reason queries or rejects rationalization. It has a finite set of dogma which tends to breed arrogance and set its followers in a collision path with others. What is a dogma? It is a set of rules comprising do's and don'ts. An example of dogma is the Ten Commandments of Christianity. Number one, I am the Lord of your God. You shall have no other gods before me. Number two, you shall not make yourself an idol. Number three, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord, your God. Number four, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Number five, honor your father and your mother. Number six, you shall not murder. Number seven, you shall not commit adultery. Number eight, you shall not steal. Number nine, you shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. Number 10, you shall not covet house, wife, servant, or, or any belongings of your neighbor. Elaboration of Dharma. Dharma does not map into religion. It seeks unity among diversity. By map, I mean one-to-one -one correspondence. Dharma includes purely personal means of connecting to God. It is based on science of values, no proselytization. It is aimed at sustaining a dynamic world together, both for living and non-living matter. Root of Dharma is Dhri. Dhri means sustainability. For example, Manu said, Dharma dharayate praja, or people are sustained on the righteousness of conduct. It has many prophets, many holy books, no founder, no dogma, and no centralized institution. Dharma has two components, Sanatana Dharma and Yuga Dharma. Yuga Dharma contains rituals and spirituals. Sanatana Dharma is atemporal, that is, it does not change with space and time. It includes revealed core values only. The same thing I want to show through a Venn diagram. You see, at the highest level, uh, Hinduism, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, they have only one God. That is, in Hinduism, it is the Brahman. In the lower plane, Christianity has three forms of God. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Judaism and Islam ha both have only one form of God. Buddhism uh, does not have uh, any form of God because Bhagavan Buddha was silent when he was asked whether there is a God or not. So, uh, you see, uh, Hinduism has a multiple uh, forms of God. It also has uh, the Hindu trinity, Brahma, Vishnu, and Mahesha. Uh, this slide uh, represents the view of one German philosopher that I want to share with you. Uh, the philosopher's name is Max Muller, and he said, if I were asked under what sky human mind most deeply pondered over the greatest problems of life, and found solutions of some of them which will deserve the attention even of those who have studied Plato and Kant, I would point it to India. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. I am honored for your participation. Goodbye.